I know it's been a long day. We it both has. we look the same because we're in orange vests. I can I see know, that. why that's beautiful confusing. Safety vests. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so you've been doing some yard work today. What's we your have. what is yard work with the students? And explain that to me. Uh, so today we were doing a what we call an air brake yard. So yeah. today we were focusing on. Uh, their road test air brake questions and okay. all the little details so that they know what their numbers are for air brakes. Okay. Um, making sure they understand how to measure and the importance of measuring push rod stroke is. Right, um, right. So that's what we were focusing on today. Yeah. Um, a lot of times yard is we have them doing backing practice, coupling and uncoupling and their pre-trip questions right, that they're going right. to have to do for their road test. How long have you been an instructor here? I've been an instructor. I've completed four years of service. Four years. I'm in my fifth year. Yeah. And how long have you been in the transportation industry altogether? 15 years. 15 years. You were a driver before that? I was. I drove long haul for 10 years. Yeah. yeah. I teamed for nine and a half with my husband. Okay. All right. And so you're telling me you came from a sales background before that. So tell me what your perception of the trucking industry was before you got in the industry, before you were a driver. When you were in sales, what did you think of truck drivers in general? Keep it clean, Janet. Just to keep it clean. <laughs> There's only one person that I knew of that was a truck driver. Yeah. Um, probably a little bit stereotype. I always thought that truck driving, um, you had to really be big and strong. Yeah. Um, that was kind of, you were going to be away from home a lot. Yeah. Um, but I didn't really, I didn't really think about truck driving. Right, right. You right. know, goods magically appear. Yeah, that's that's how a lot of people right? think about I it. Right. I mean, right? it's I know the trucks brought stuff, but I never yeah. really gave it any real thought as to um, the logistics of it. Right. And now that you're a, you're a former driver and now an instructor, what what would what do you want people to know about the trucking industry now? That anybody can do it. Right. Size and might do not matter anymore right. because we have automatic. Yep. Um, we have power steering, yep. we have automated transmissions, yep. uh, so you don't have to be huge, big and strong um, unless you're going to do flat bedding yep. <laughs> and you've got to be able to chain. Yep. But anybody can do it if you have a willingness to learn. Yep. Um, you also need to be comfortable with being alone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not for everybody. What, what was it like being a team driver? What was that experience? Just, just in general, like, did you, did you enjoy that? I know you're with your husband, but did you enjoy that as far as, um, did you enjoy the driving part of this job? Yes. Yeah. It is every once in a while on a day like today, blue sky days, yeah. and you get behind the wheel and you're like, Oh yeah, I remember why I really enjoy driving because yeah. there's nothing nicer than driving on those nice blue sky days. Yeah. Summer or winter, doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed the driving aspects. Because we drove long haul, haul um, the being away from home for 10 years on the road, yeah. uh, I lived in my truck more than I did in my house. Right, right. And we were tired. Yeah. It's literally what it came down to. But teaming, I enjoyed it. Nice thing is there's always someone with you, so yeah. you're not Totally alone. The lonely factor is not there yeah. as much. But sometimes um, you want to drop them off at a corner bus stop and say, I'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> no. Okay, just my relationships, not yours. Right? No, no. My, I always make the joke that, yes, I team drove with my husband for nine and a half years. And yes, we're still married. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. It, in, pan, in this pandemic time, there's a lot of people now realizing how important that's that yeah. is that you yeah. can do he that. Yeah, you know, we get along extremely well. So yeah, um, and that's for teaming. You've it doesn't matter whether it's a husband and wife team or uh, friends, best friends that decide to yeah, team. Yeah. Um, I've met cousins, family members that team. Yeah, and it's just you've got to be with somebody that you get along with, that right, you have so. similar attitudes um, in order to uh, yeah. drive and to get along to make the driving pleasant. What about women in the industry? This is uh, something that we're all trying to get more women in the industry. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you feel women make good truck drivers? You were a truck driver. I'm sure yeah. you, you, know, you made a women great, make, you make a great women, instructor. So women, <laughs> women make very good truck drivers. Yeah. Um, women in general try harder. Yeah. Uh, we usually, I know I do. I don't want to just be as good as you. Yeah. I want to be better than you. Right. Right. Anything you can do, I can do better. That has to do with me being the youngest of three kids. I had two older brothers that yeah. were close in age to me. Right. And I always wanted to be better than them. Yeah, so yeah. it just translates in everything in my life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, but, but, but when you were on the road, you were, you were with your husband, so mm -hmm. that may be a bit different. But did you feel comfortable and safe on the road? Did you, did you feel less than because you're a woman on the road? No. 
And the interesting thing is about men. Men, um, a lot of times, as far as safety, I find men in general tend to be pretty protective of women. Yeah. They look out for you. Yeah. Um, for the most part, most of my experiences with men on the road is guys are look out for you. Um, they will help you out. They yeah. offer help to you. Yeah far more quickly than they will to another male driver right yeah uh because you're a girl yeah and they just you know they'll either see you as a wife or a daughter right um so guys were always really good yeah. on the road to me um there were certain areas where and i it wouldn't matter if i was with my husband or by myself yeah. um that you just as a female you always feel vulnerable right there's just a feeling of vulnerability yeah. not that there necessarily is but things that make us feel vulnerable right. a lot of times simply because we're smaller yeah yeah you know it's yeah. a small male can feel just as intimidated yeah. Yeah. um you know guys feel just as intimidated because it's kind of a scary neighborhood yeah <laughs> and, know, there's, and they're done that a lot there's, of a, there's horror stories a lot of chicago areas. new jersey and new york in my in my background so i understand that totally <laughs> yeah <laughs> so so you're an instructor now so how do you enjoy instructing you've been doing it for a few years now do you i really enjoy teaching yeah I really enjoy teaching students. Um, it's fun to watch people come into trucking where they know nothing. Yeah. And that when they leave, they now have accomplished some skills. They have an understanding. Um, it's also very funny when people come in um, from a more a professional background. Yeah. And their attitude towards truckers is, you're just a trucker. Yeah. yeah. And they think, oh, this is going to be a cakewalk. I've done university. I've done this. Yeah. And they think trucking is going to be a cakewalk. Yeah. And it doesn't take, it only takes them a couple of lessons. Yeah. And they clue into the fact very quickly, it's not a cakewalk. No. no. Um, and truck driving, it is a profession. Yeah. It is skilled labor, yeah. um, even if we're not classed that way. That's right. Um, we need to get that done. Yeah. And we're hoping, I'm hoping that yeah. because of COVID and they realize we're essential to life, Yes. that yeah. maybe we'll finally be the push to get us uh, classed yeah. as a professional. Yeah. Because drivers now, um, you need some computer skills because of ELDs. Yeah. Um, your communication with your dispatch and route planning. And there's so many, so many more people on the road now yeah. than what there used to be. Yeah. yeah. I know most truck drivers I'm imagining, I know I enjoy just driving in my car. Yeah. during covid because there was nowhere near the i know people, i know right? and you can You're start like, you start to see it creeping up now that things are reopening right so 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 what makes a good instructor give me a trait that makes a good instructor patience patience yes <laughs> lots that makes a good driver too by the way just so yes, you know it does. patience um patience is huge the it can be learned the ability to articulate yeah. what we do instinctively and put words to it. Yeah. To be able to verbally describe how to take a corner. Yeah. Well, just do this. Just follow it. Yeah. Well, what does that mean? Yeah. You have to be able to take a skill and actually put words to it. Yeah. Um, and it's learning to do that. Yeah. What the words are that you need to say. Yeah. But patience is huge. Well, I hope a lot of people go through uh, it being an, being uh, you as the instructor because you're very good at what you do. Thank you so Thanks. much for your time.